Hi, my name is Jason Harlow. I'm the instructor for PHY 205, the Physics of Everyday Life. Welcome. My contact information is below. Just want to emphasize that I'm here to help you through this course. You'll also have a graduate student uh, teaching assistant we will meet in the, in the first week who is also here to help you. So what is science? So science is both a body of knowledge, a bunch of stuff to, to learn and to know, and it's also an ongoing human activity. It's something you do, and it's something you do in your life. Science has been around a long time. It precedes uh, recorded history, and some of the things that mark science uh, <coughs> as being scientific is, one of the things is measurements. So I have a ruler for measuring distances, I have a protractor for measuring angles. I have a stopwatch for measuring uh, time intervals. I have a, uh, even have a thermometer for measuring temperatures. So uh, if I have these kinds of things in my backpack, that means I might be a scientist. Uh, another part of science is math. So I also have a calculator in my backpack. And we use math and equations uh, to provide expressions of relationships between different things. So if I say acceleration equals force divided by mass, I'm talking about if you push something, it moves. How much it moves depends on how much force and depends on how massive the object is as well. So equations are guides to thinking. Physics. How does physics fit in? Well, there's physical sciences, which include like geology, astronomy, chemistry, etc. And there's also uh, life sciences, which include biology, nutrition, pharmacology, psychology, and more. But physics is the basic science that underlies all of these. So who should be taking this course? Well, to do well in this course, you've got to be familiar with life on Earth, okay? Including moving, breathing, and eating. <clears throat> it also helps if you have some experience thinking about light or sound or if you've ever used an electric device, so that's probably all of us, right? But seriously, this is a 200 uh, series course, 205, so I do assume that you have some experience at university, and you're prepared to take responsibility for deadlines, assignments, and tests. But there are no prerequisites for this course. Okay? So, uh, there is an exclusion though, you may not take this course if you have ever taken physics 131 or 151, or an equivalent lab-based uh, first-year physics course. So my goals for you in this course are to begin seeing physics in your everyday life. It's all around you. And physics is not that frightening. I want you to learn to think logically in order to solve uh, basic physics problems. I want you to develop and expand your physical intuition for how things work. I want you to understand that the universe is predictable rather than magical. And also, I'd like you to obtain a perspective on the history of science and technology. I'll be doing some asides on, on history. What you need to buy? Well, you'll need the textbook, Conceptual Physics by Paul Hewitt. You need an eye clicker remote. And you need a calculator. This is the physics section of the bookstore. This is what the textbook looks like. This is the conceptual, or sorry, this is the custom edition that you'll see at the bookstore. It's actually the 11th edition. It's the same as this is the full sort of hardcover uh, version of the book, Conceptual Physics 11th edition by Paul Hewitt. But in the custom edition, some of the chapters have been deleted that we won't be using in this course. You will definitely need a clicker in every class batteries included, available at the bookstore for $36.50, or you can get them used as well. That works just fine. Here's an example of a terrific calculator you can get. It's uh, solar powered, has sine cos tan on it, and it costs $15.99. Please bring your clicker to every class, except class one, I, I won't be using them, but starting with class two. Clicker participation in classes is worth 5% of your course mark. Also, there will be pre-class reading quizzes done online. Those are worth 5% of the course mark. 
And there's tutorials every week, also in McLennan, but in a smaller room. I'd like you to bring your calculator to tutorials and bring a willingness to have fun and do some work. The tutorial activities that you do in little groups are marked by your TA and will be worth 5% of the course mark. So once again, welcome to the course. I really look forward to meeting all of you in the first day.